I think what's really bad nowadays too, I think it's getting better as the pendulum is swinging. Like, you know how just political opinions went super left and like all this trans shit, but now it's coming like back to normalcy just a tad. Would you agree with that? Yeah, it's definitely like a, it's more like right leaning now. More like, right. you know, unaccepting type stuff. <laughs> Right, so I think that it's getting better, but they're turned into it. Ta this this social media turned into people literally just bandwagoning shit that they think is gonna get them on the bandwagon, but may not even be an opinion that other people hold. So like, this is an example. Somebody was like calling me like, they, or they told me to shut the fuck up in my comments after I told them like, cause. I posted something about Jaleel um, body slamming somebody on Instagram. Oh yeah, when he body slams on the stage? Yeah, so, so then somebody's like, that's not a body slam. I'm like, bro, I don't give a fuck what it's called. Y'all get the point. Like y'all are watching a fake. You, bro, you, they'll do shit like that. Like the little nitpick for yeah. no reason. Bro. I'm like, bro, I don't give a fuck what it's called. It, whatever. So then I said, y'all like y'all watch a fake sport. I didn't, mean, I didn't mean to be mean, but I was like, this is a fake sport. I don't care what it's called. Okay. Oh, so man, then man. somebody told me, uh, shut the fuck up. And then I <laughs> told him you have a trans girlfriend after I looked at his, uh, Instagram and then I felt really bad. But, um, then other people were like screenshotting that posting it everywhere like bob's home of transphobic and it like it didn't go anywhere because nobody actually gives a fuck about transphobia i'm not transphobic but like nobody actually cares so i think that people nowadays they're trying to white knight but it doesn't even work anymore that's what i was saying yeah um like cancel culture i think that people realize doesn't work it just kind of it's kind of it's very pick like, cancel culture is very like pick and choose because there's plenty there's plenty of artists who have like crazy allegations that people still listen to, like on a consistent basis. Man, not even not even anybody from this scene, like like mainstream mainstream artists, like people like Trey Song. Like I think I think he's on like his seventh allegation. I don't know if you heard about that. But then there's people like um who who's like a good example of somebody that like got canceled, like for doing something weird. Uh like SOG Kobe, right? Because even then, oh, that was yeah. still an allegation, and he got his whole career ruined. I think that's because, though, I don't think it was cancel culture. I think it's when you let yourself get canceled. As in, oh, like, no, bro, stopped you. posting for like a year or something. And so, of course, like if you just let that narrative ride, you're gonna go. You're you're, you're not gonna last right because you're not responding like the first thing i would have done in his scenario being like nah this bitch lying i like you know she was completely consensual she's a groupie i don't know the facts yeah. but i'm just saying that's what i would have said granted i'm a person who would not have done what was alleged but um yeah yeah and so who and trey songs did trey songs ever like respond but he prepped Maybe he didn't respond. But he kept dropping music, right? Uh, probably. Yeah, he probably dropped a few projects. Right. So um, if you just keep going, like Aiden Ross gets canceled like every three months th or less than three weeks, and he's just like, "Nah, fuck y'all. I'm gonna keep streaming." Yeah. Even, even like um, artists like Tyler the Creator who are getting like canceled literally like every week. They did keep going and kind of just. They're saying X you know, too. That was a good one too. X, like XXX Tentacion. Yeah, um, he had some bad allegations. Yeah. Mm, that's a, it's a, it's a, the X one is like an interesting but scenario. See, he but. just he just kept going like it never happened, or maybe he responded and but like said it wasn't true. I I don't know the specifics, but he kind of. Mm, he didn't let it. I know on the he didn't situation. let it stop him at all. Yeah, from what I know about the situation, though, it was it was a little bit more 
then uh he just like oh he just he said it wasn't true he kind of like manipulated the um what do I, how do you say he manipulated the details of the situation like he lied and said um i think that that he didn't do it that she got like jumped and that's like what happened to the injuries but I, those were like two unrelated cases so at that point, it's a little bit more than him just being like, oh, it's not true. He's, he's like manipulating it to make himself seem innocent, which I don't have any problem with X now. Like, I think I understand like he grew as a person and whatever, you know, I, he made some good music. He had a good impact on us. But, you know, it's just kind of a case by case uh, situation. That's just how I feel. If that makes sense, because not everything is like, um, oh, she's lying or oh, stuff like that very complicated <laughs> so so you does does that support or reject uh like how how does that affect the argument about letting things cancel you i mean you get what i'm saying I like see, I, yeah I see what you're how, saying. Do, how does what you say uh, i'm not saying it doesn't but how does that relate to why x never got canceled i just Holy. think it's like a different you get you got to use like a different example why like because he didn't it, it's kind of different than like he just pushed through it like he literally did lie and manipulate the situation it right, would be like for example right that's similar if, to the ssg um, kobe situation like if he came out whether or not he lied or actually said the truth you just have to respond and keep going you know what I mean? Like, if, if you just keep it pushing, you set that doesn't your always story, work though. Like, that doesn't who? always work. Though. What did you say? Say that again. Like who? 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 Because has okay, been canceled? artists have been canceled for less, like less serious. Like, um, you know who Daniel Caesar is? He's a um. Hold on. I'm sure you you can kind of um, like look him up later. Daniel Caesar was a R and B singer from like 2018 he was on that whole like uh well we can't you know, like we can't pull back like 1970s artists we're talking about the social media no no no. i'm talking like 2018 like not that long ago dude like four not four how long Wait, was that how like old was he though? when was his career i mean he's still he's not really relevant anymore because he got canceled but like 2018 basically what happened was he, this is like significantly less serious than SG Kobe. He said something, he's a black artist and he said something like black people should stop blaming white people for all their problems. And he responded and all he did basically was just like, he was just like, oh, I don't see why it's so serious, blah, 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 blah. And he still continued to drop music and still to this day, like whenever somebody brings him up, that's the whole narrative around him is that like he's like an uncle tom that he's like anti-black so really it doesn't really always work to just push through stuff like that now with kobe i do kind of agree that he could have done something like that and kept dropping music consistently and just like kept doing it and it probably would have blown over but even then she did get like that detective in involved so even if he, he kept some of his relevance for a little bit don't you think he would have eventually like gotten into legal trouble for it no because if there wasn't cctv footage like what was the detective gonna detect it was months Man, later it could have been like a like a little dna kit or something i don't that, know if she that only lasts for like a day like that shit goes and it's story swimming, is, it, it, is that nigga was dropping ass and then he got a <laughs> fucking allegation on him and then they <laughs> fucked his whole shit up that's the answer y'all keep running around he was dropping ass and then he wanted and then he ain't talked to his fans and then he got a fucking rape allegation on him it's, it's like so the betrayed. little mosey situation that too, nigga yeah. so betrayed bro that's what happened them niggas so betrayed they was like how you gonna drop ass not talk to us and then come back with some rape allegations that's not that's why his fans was turned on him that's the reason why and then he want to drop good music after the fact nah that's that's not no nah, you're that's actually that's facts. that's facts that's facts that's not that you can't do that you can't do that that's that was his fault and maybe that goes back to what save the world was saying was that like they pick and choose like 
they kind of let you get canceled if they don't fuck with you anymore but if yeah. if you're still in high standing with your music or product they'll be like all right it's cool it's cool so do you think you think if like the narrative around cardi right now is that he's, he's like trash and like his music sucks and then like the whole girlfriend pregnant girlfriend abuse situation came out do you think he would be canceled right now yeah, they would kill that nigga they would stone yeah, that nigga yeah. they would be stoning that nigga yeah. I mean y'all saw what happened to Uzi right like I don't think it actually affected him too much but at the time people were coming after him because I feel like his hype was a little bit down yeah, but he went MIA a little bit though. He went off the he grid did. and he, he came back out. <laughs> well, he went to rehab. It's because it's Uzi. It's different. That nigga, that nigga told everyone that he going, y'all going to hell with me if you go to his concert. Y'all, y'all did not remember that. That nigga yeah. said that, and his fans were still rocking with him. It's it's Uzi. He can he can say and do whatever the fuck he wants. It's fucking Uzi. Uh, I don't condone the I don't condone the fuckery, but it's fucking Uzi. But what I'm saying is like his perception was a little bit lower i'm not saying that he was like he wasn't dropping trash so they're not gonna let him die out like they're not gonna let him get canceled but they let it hit him harder than cardi they literally ignored it or even celebrated the fact you know yeah well, I ain't even. I ain't gonna lie. I ain't paying attention to that Cardi situation. I stopped. Bro, people were like, like, like people. I don't like, even think people knew that it happened to be. Yeah, I didn't know that shit was going on, man. Like, I didn't even like the last time I heard about this nigga getting locked up was before a whole lot of red when they caught his ass in that car. Well, all this yeah, shit. well, like the gun. That was the last like the time drug. I paid attention to him getting locked up, and after that, I was like, all right. Well, I, see, I, I, I ignored it because I was like, man, this this low key like uh supports his whole brand as being a narcissist as terrible as that sounds it bro no nah, i get what it you're saying bro. yeah they start I, I, using I, his mugshot as like a, a trendy profile picture now honestly right yeah. exactly they, that's what i'm saying they do not care at all hey man hey man right. that's the I mean, it, it is what it is it is what it is, it is, what it is.